Hello beautiful Sagittarius, welcome to the channel. This is Irish Donna Tarot. This is a love reading for Sagittarius. It is an energy update and sort of a love. My name is Donna Wilder Hart and I am so glad you joined me today. Cutting the deck for our beautiful Sagittarius friends. Let's see what we have for you here. All right, so Sagittarius, a star card. Oh, you have met your match. That is literally you feeling like your hopes and dreams for love have manifested. It's a spiritual card. It's feeling as though your partner is beautiful inside, beautiful outside, that your relationship, you've gone through, now you've gotten through the tower card, whatever revelations needed to make, be made in your relationship have come to pass. Sagittarius energy is your energy but the star card is very aquarius very you're with somebody who's very like-minded and shares your viewpoint of life you're feeling very down to earth very loving very much wanting day-to-day -day life you are very much enmeshed and uh, thriving um, in this relationship you feel very happy you feel nurtured you also like to nurture a very strong and powerful relationship you have, you have the king and queen of earth or pentacles. This relationship is, I feel, newly in its consciousness of partnership. The ten of air. There has been a period of time of difficulty that the two of you have experienced. We see that you've gone through the ten of air and you've looped around, but you're still thinking. The Ten of Air, though, says that you're finally walking away from possibly an old wound that you either delivered or received from your person, but there has been forgiveness in this relationship with that star card. The healing of that Ten of Air has taken place, and the two of you are together. This is haunting you. Don't let it haunt you. Let it go. Ten of Tens are always about letting go. The World card, closing out a cycle. I love it. Now remember that the world card is finishing the cycle, the whole journey of love it, with the star energy into the world. This is super successful. This isn't just, oh, you know, you're just closing out a cycle. It's so important that we give this the weight and the meaning and the merit because this is ascension. So you have ascended to a new level in love and now you are starting the star version of the journey. You were on the Ten of Air version of the journey, but now look at this. We have the, see the tower had come down. The world card is leading you past the tower you've already managed. Remember I said that when I saw the star card. This is 16, this is 17. So it looks like it's fairly recent. You may have just overcome this obstacle and come back together with someone or solidified a difficult time in your relationship. Ah, the king of fire. Oh, beautiful fiery energy. You have the heart of a lion. Sagittarius, you feel so happy. You're just delighted with the way things are turning out. You're staying very aware. We have King of Air, that is your awareness. This is staying in this very vigilant, uh, keeping your vibration very squeaky clean, making sure that the things that you do in the relationship are mature, they're well thought out. The Seven of Fire, oh, you're in a very powerful position. You're in this unicorn-like position You've really, you're defending this relationship. You know, if anybody were to come along and even say boo to you about this relationship, you just, you, you're not having it. It's really beautiful energy because you are absolutely very protective of your love and rightfully so. And we have the lover's card. Oh, you both have so much strength for this relationship. I think that when you sleep together, or you spend time together, you just can't help but touch each other. So much beauty, so much communication, so much passion, so much deep understanding and nurturance in this situation, in the relationship, the call. You're being called on at this time to pass judgment and to let go of all the old wounds, all the old surprises, to stop worrying about it. You know, you already made it through. The star card told us that. It's really letting go, the release, the release of worry. 
you're in a very powerful spot. Your tower already came down. It came down before the star card. The ace of air. Oh, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You are in beautiful energy. It looks as though the two of you may make decisions. I wouldn't say right away, but I would say over the next 17 months that you probably will be very formally committed to each other if you aren't already. But it looks like big decisions are being made at this time. So let's see what the overall energy is as we close out the reading from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Being flexible, that's good advice, right? Very, very good advice for you. Just remaining flexible, not drawing any sharp conclusions or taking anything the wrong way. A leg up, helping each other. Spending time every day being supportive of one another. That just flipped and twirled. And chopping wood, getting rid of old attitudes and old habits and old thought patterns that do not serve you. Lovely energy, Sagittarius, thank you for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. It is the only way I can grow. And if you like the reading, I would really appreciate your help. Thank you so much. Sending you love.